Good afternoon everyone. Happy Friday. Um, the sun is out. It said it was going to rain today, so I was expecting to spend a chill day. I was actually looking forward ooh, too bright. I was actually looking forward to today being a rainy day because I didn't want to wake up and do put my makeup on. Do anything. Uh, look, my rash is going away. I've just been applying my French cream to it, so that's been helping a lot. But yeah, I get rashes all the time. It's, it's so annoying. When I ordered this dress, I thought it was going to be a little, you know, chill dress. You just pop on to one downstairs to get an order. But the dress just arrived and it's such good quality. H&M definitely stepped up their game. I mean, no wonder. Like, every week I am placing an order there. I literally have like seven orders pending at H&M. Don't want to miss out. I would say follow me on Instagram because I shop live with you guys. And share with you instantly whatever I'm buying so you don't miss out on it so let me show you the dress this is a little dress um like everyone has this dress Lydia has this dress Victoria from end of Full has this dress and I've seen it on them I was like oh, it's a cute little dress I love it linen is my favorite fabric for for the summertime I was like I order it I ordered it in the blue as well so they do have it in the in the floral, the same floral my off-shoulder H&M dress is from. They have it in in the shape as well. So I got the blue because I'm trying to incorporate more blue into my wardrobe. I have a new pair of shoes from Sarah Flint that just came in. I cannot wait to show them to you because <laughs> it used to be my favorite style of shoes forever. Four years. That's the only style of shoes that I wore like all summer, spring. <laughs> And even fall sometimes nowadays I have more fun you know with my shoes I have some colors I have different styles and stuff but before when I was more of a neutral neutral very classic that's the style of shoe that I used to wear I ordered the um, last time I got a little sample of the veil primer and I was so impressed with it so I decided to order a full size I thought this was gonna be bigger but this was $54 and it's absolutely amazing really really like it so for the day when I want my makeup to stay in place for the whole day I am so in love with this dress it's so so pretty so this is the dress with me wearing my strapless bra um, which is the one that I link in my last haul but I will link it below hopefully ASOS still have it if they don't then I will link some similar ones I love ASOS for buying my bras yeah, my underarm is getting darker because I'm wearing um, natural deodorant and then it's it makes me very itchy and then in return it's just darkening and also shaving darkens my underarm that's why I can't wait to get a wax because the shaving life is not for me hey guys it's Friday afternoon about to be evening now I made myself some lunch because I didn't eat lunch uh, because I had a heavy breakfast the banana bread is pretty heavy and this is what I made of course avocado toast I do have some rice my mom gave me I'm gonna try to finish it today or tomorrow what I turn on this for is to show you my nails I just painted my nails with the paint box which is the color of my shoes my sandals from Sarah Flint the gray sandal which you've seen they did a collabora um, collaboration with Pet Box and it came with the Snow Polish Duo. One is called like Cypria and the other one is like Rose. I think I like the. Actually, I like them both. Which is why instead of wearing one, I decided to wear them both at the same time. Last week, I had my nails with the Cypria color. Good morning everyone. Happy Saturday. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's afternoon now. It's about 12 something and I quickly wanted to, I don't know, did I show you the flowers that my, I don't know, I hate the word. I hate the word boyfriend. It's just, it's just I don't know. I, I just hate the word boyfriend. I feel like after 18 years old, I should not be using the word boyfriend so um, I've always had problem with that word 
even like all my boyfriends in the past they've always had I don't know they always have problems with me when it came to like introducing them to people so we'll be you know we'll be out whatever and then I will meet up with one of my friends and then I will introduce them and then I'll just say this is their name or whatever and then they always have problem with me you know when I get home me never saying oh this is my boyfriend such and such so childish to me and I'm like no I would rather like say partner or something but even so I'm not even going there I'm like this is such and such like that's your name uh, and stuff like that and I don't know would I get offended if they didn't call me the girlfriend hmm I don't know but I'm gonna show you the beautiful flowers that my partner sent to me um it was the most random surprise and it was a lovely and the like if you know the way to my heart is flowers like just send me flowers every day and i will love you forever well i don't know about that but i will love you a long time if you send me flowers every day and peonies are my favorite flowers in may because that's this season and he sent me a beautiful bouquet of peonies and roses and hydrangeas i love hydrangeas um i can't wait when i have my house to have a garden of roses hydrangeas oh my god there's this house that i went to in the hampton which was the house they filmed billions that show and they had such a lovely bush of hydrangeas like blue and pink they're like the most beautiful and I love them I love hydrangea um, they don't last very long but I just love seeing them outside in the bushes like flourishing but yeah I'm finally going to try on the shoes from Sarah Flint with you so maybe I'll do a little unboxing yeah I got the blue version of the white dress yeah the shoes let me show you the shoes oh and then today I am using the primer that primer is literally the most amazing thing. Where did I put it? I just opened it. Oh, it's right here. The Veil Primer by Hourglass. OMG, this stuff is amazing. And I love that it has SPF because I haven't been using my SPF. I know, it's terrible. Um, which is, this is my favorite SPF, the Super Goop. They do have it combined with the moisturizer. Before, I used to say that I prefer my sunscreen separate and then my moisturizer separate, but I'm just finding out, I just don't want to go to the trouble of just using an SPF and then using sunscreen. So I think I want the sunscreen that's in the S, I mean, I think I want sunscreen that is combined with the moisturizer. So Super Goop does have another one that has SPF in there. So I'm gonna buy that one, but I still love this one though. Two primers that I have been loving. Oh my God. So Dr. Brent sent me this, you know, little package. I, I, I don't know if this is a new product, but if it is, guys, if you have poor problems, you need to run out and well not run out you need to get online and order this like asap this is the pore refiner primer so this is the pores no more kind of they will have the whole line of pores no more so they have the vacuum cleaner which i've been dying to to try i just keep forgetting so tonight i'm gonna do that because today i'm wearing makeup but guys this is one of the best primers that i've ever used and what i love about this it's a pump and also the other thing that I love about this is that it's a flesh color so it's not like um, like the veil primer it's a complete white although it doesn't leave a white cast but I love that this is almost like a CC cream and primer at the same time and when you put this on like you can actually just look at your pores diminished I already don't have problem with my pores I already don't have problem with my pores and when I put it on it's like it just became this like smooth canvas um, so when I put these two on they give me the same feeling it's just like my face become velvety and I'm like oh. it's like I'm not even touching skin anymore it's just like so velvety so smooth it's like you don't even feel any texture whatsoever again Sarah Flint you know that famous blue box I just moved the ribbon to the side because it breaks my heart to undo them again if you use code Sarah Flint slash BA Rose 
you get a hundred dollars off your order until June something great those bags Ta -da! guess what I got so I got the block sandals I if you guys know me for years these are the sandals that I wore all summer spring fall long it's like every time one will just um, you know break I'll just go and buy a new one and just wear it until until it broke this is my favorite style of shoes for like classic style because my style used to be very like neutrals and stuff so I used to always be in culottes pants and stuff like that even dresses too so um, so I had to get the block sandals in the nude I wanted to get it in the white but I wanted a color that was more versatile that I can wear with a lot more things and of course the nude I really love this kind of like strap here I, I love this detail this detail makes your feet so sexy and of course the arch support is insane like insanity that's what I'm telling you if you have problems with heels Sarah Flint is your girl and beautiful craftsmanship made handmade in Italy guys how stunning are these look at this just wow they are so beautiful oh, but yeah oh look at my peonies maybe I did show you the flowers I don't remember but yeah this is like the most beautiful bouquet Ever. You want to see the card? It says my princess queen. Hi hey guys, so I had to put my hair in a low bun because I have to get cleaning and I don't want it all over my face. And my Amazon order came in, which is a foldable. What is it again? I don't even remember. Hmm. I know what I ordered. I don't remember the name. It's, oh, it's kind of like a, a breakfast stand. And I can also use it for my laptop if I want to work from home. And I want something to put my laptop over. So, my casual Fridays now equals me. You see, this is what I was trying to avoid. Hair getting in my goddamn eye. You know, since that show suits, I can't stop saying goddamn everything it's bad I need to stop uh, uh, face itches and I have to kind of like reorganize my wardrobe over here because it's getting out of hand a little bit so I have to take inventory of the dresses that I have and stuff like that what I am going to be wearing what I won't be wearing and stuff like that I probably should not be using this for my face because that's what I open my packages with. Now my eyes is itchy. Look at this. I thought this was going to be taller, to be quite honest. There seems to be a little bit of dust in here. But, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Wow, this is very, very good quality. I love that. It's like a tree. And, of course, the legs. It's going to be so perfect and i used to love fall and winter i think fall is still my favorite season i don't know yet honestly um after this year uh, i should say after last year i think summer is definitely becoming my favorite season i think it's because before i never knew how to dress i i used to struggle in the summertime guys to to dress i think it's because i wasn't in into dresses before you know wearing pants in the summertime it was painful can you imagine wearing jeans in the summertime even now when i see people wear jeans in the summertime it's like I said that's why i hated i used to hate summer in the past is because i never knew how to how to dress for summer because i wasn't into dresses and at the time i couldn't find the dresses that i really like the dresses that goes with my body shape and i struggled to find dresses for my body type because i'm heavy breasted and then 
square shape and it's just yeah it's it's tough um so i used to be always wearing pants so i used to resort to wearing culottes and stuff like that for the summertime like culottes or high-waisted uh, wide leg pants that, that's all i used to wear but now that i've now that i've embraced my girly my feminine side and i'm like oh my goodness summer is where it summer is like the perfect season to just be strolling the street in the prettiest linen dress or floral dress or whatever kind of dress it is and my little basket bag it, and just I don't know and just be very happy with the sun and all that stuff um, I feel so chic in this honestly I do like look at me look at me guys I feel incredibly chic in this I don't know what happened but I'm wearing this new dress from Banana Republic it's so beautiful they do have this dress in a printed it's like white with like red flowers I am thinking about getting it as well I just wish the bust line was a little bit higher because I feel like half of my bust is out but um, I can cover with my hair and it's not that big of a deal although I mean I wish it was a bit higher because I could wear this dress to more um, I don't know classy functions and stuff like that and I'm wearing my new shoes from Vince Camuto um, they're so perfect they have this kind of like retro vibe I am using the pixie palette it's my favorite palette when I want kind of like a sunsetty I look that's my favorite lippy it's Ashton by ABH love it for perfume for perfume I always mix I went back to an old favorite of my hypnotic Dior hypnotic po um, poison by Dior love it it smells so delicious so sensual so sexy the only thing is it doesn't last as long I just hope they made the the perfume version this is the eau de toilette eau de toilette are a lot lighter than perfumes so I wish they made the perfume version of this so it can last a little bit longer um, at least I just don't smell it on me I don't know maybe and then of course my Baccarat Rouge body oil obsessed with this I just love this when you put it on your body it just smells so good and then my other one that just came in it's Order Dairy by Diptyque absolutely love this super sweet super sexy very feminine and then I went in with Gossoir and also the Baccarat perfume so it's like a mixture of things um, so if you ever pass me you see that that smells really good so it's uh, yeah mixture of things um, oh and also my Jamie Beck print came in it's beautiful it's day 25 I will show it to you once I receive the frame I ordered a frame so I can put it so I'm gonna put it right next to here or maybe I'll just put it on the side I haven't decided yet but because I burned my candle on the side I don't think it will be a good fit so I think over there is probably better but I ordered some fabric from John Fabrics um, this kind of like vintage floral print to use as a blanket for my picnics because I wanted something that looked vintage especially when I do my little flower baskets hi guys Sometimes the focus on this camera is so bad. Um, I do find the Sony has a better focusing system than this. But I am headed to Central Park for a quick picnic with my friend. And we'll probably go for some tacos afterwards. And yeah, this is after work. This today's Monday. And yeah. And this is, I think, um, phase one of reopening New York City, and everything feels like it never left. It's so, like, I'm just amazed. The only thing is just like people are wearing masks, but even so, it's becoming 
like it's become so normal it's like it's like the new normal like literally and it doesn't even feel weird at all um yeah but it's like you know everything is back to normal now yeah that tells you everything you need to know <laughs> this is one of my favorite places to shoot because it's so pretty um i took some photos sitting here by this little bench and then there's this cafe right there um it's like super cute for you know photos outside and stuff and this is this mansion it's like some someone else owned it or something like that but i don't remember hmm. but this is well i should have shown you my outfit when i was home in my mirror but i completely forgot i'm just wearing this top from choosy which i wore in a video and this polka dot skirt that i wore in cuba and yeah i love it it's one of my favorite looks like i just wear this like all the time um if i'm not like in the mood to like, wear a dress but i still want to wear like a skirt like something like, flowy so that's typically the look that i go for i love this skirt so much um i'm in the park now i'm gonna look for my friend i think i know where he is hi everyone happy wednesday today is the 10th um, I'm waiting on a couple of packages, but one came yesterday with this dress in there Which I am so so happy about I wanted this dress with this kind of ruching It's not the most flattering dress on me. I'll you know, I'll admit it But um, but I wanted one that was cheap enough where I didn't feel You know any way about it and this one is from Mango. I got it in their 30% sale. And also, I'm not wearing the red bra with this because this bra kind of like squish my boobs and stuff. But I'm not going out. I'm just like staying in the house. So it's okay. But I absolutely love it. I do want this in a lighter color. Um, so I'm going to look around to see. I missed out on the new look one that ASOS had. It's a problem with stuff you know that's the thing with you know shopping sometimes if you don't stay on top of it you're going to miss out i really really wanted that dress Ugh, i'm just so upset i do wish they bring it back or maybe i'll find something similar i really love my makeup today until when i ate lunch and then i ruined my lipstick and stuff so and i love these pearl hoops they're like my favorite thing ever Oh, they're so good. I got them from H&M, but I will link some other ones below because I believe these are sold out. They still have them in the store, but the stores are closed, not online. Online, they're sold out. But I have some other affordable ones that I love that I will link below. I wear these every chance that I get because they are so pretty. And uh, yeah, it's getting hot again. So I'm going to put on the AC, run out to get what I need. Hi everyone, I am back. I made banana bread. I went out to get wine. My favorite one because I didn't like the one that I got yesterday. I had the bottle over there in front of the... So it's this is the one that I like. It's Scarlet, Scarlet of Paris. It's Pinot Noir. I really love it. Um, yeah, it's my favorite Pinot right now again like i said i didn't like the one that i had so i just bought this one made banana bread just took it out of the oven and i bought it in my room because i like to eat that's what i do i keep it here just in case i need some i just come here and cut it so i don't i'm so lazy um i'm telling you but i put a little piece on here which i'm eating but let me show you the whole banana bread it's so yum this is it like look at this baby Ugh. look at this baby this looks so good okay i'm gonna go edit i will catch you guys later good afternoon everyone well is it afternoon yeah it's only 1 38 i felt like it's four o'clock but it's probably because it's cloudy outside it's been a cloudy day it was supposed to rain all day and then i saw the sun come out and i was like "Ooh, let me just get up to film a video and then now it's cloudy again which is fine for filming so i'm probably gonna end up going 
to film the video anyways it's better um, you know with the lighting um, because when the Sun is going out in and out it could be super annoying but I just received my order from and other stories and <coughs> this print is absolutely stunning love and the last dress of the day or now because I think I have one more order coming in um, is this beautiful yellow one from and other stories as well I got two dresses from them they having a massive sale right now I'm gonna go on the website to see what else I can find I didn't really thoroughly um, search the website last time I don't know if I'm gonna be too far away. Okay, this is fine. Let me push my things because I am working. It's confidential stuff you can't see. But I quickly wanted to, I don't remember if I showed you this, but Jamie Beck on Instagram when she was doing her isolation creation, I ordered this beautiful print. And um, it's the peonies. It's so beautiful i love it <gasps> wow it's so stunning i really love the gold it's so perfect ay, ay, ay. hi everyone it's lunchtime now and i've almost eaten off my lipstick it's about to yesterday it's 15 minutes away from me clocking out so here's my lunch salad this is such a filling salad Arugula, gripped tomatoes, avocado, fried egg, red onions, um, and my homemade dressing. I have also toasted a piece of the Cabernet bread and dipping it with some olive oil. Good morning, guys. This is how I have my breakfast every morning. This little tray is like the best thing ever. Not only you can use it to work from bed your laptop and everything today i'm taking the day off because i am um i don't know i think i'm going to play tennis and then head to long island for something so i've got my coffee black i used to put the oat milk but i stopped drinking like that because i started missing the taste of coffee by itself so i went back for um for my black coffee I have a piece of banana bread I try to do one because even that it's so filling and I already feel full and I'm about to get up get ready to film a video so I don't want to be too stuffed and stuff like that hello guys ready for the day this is my outfit which you have seen before one of my favorite dresses I was gonna wear something else but decided last minute that's how I am honestly I always you know pick my outfits last minute and I'm wearing my Sarah Flint shoes. We really wanted to wear flats instead, but I don't know. I want to feel elevated a little bit. So I'm wearing my Celine sunglasses. And let's go. Hi guys, it's boating time. So Sorry. Hi guys, good afternoon. It's about 1.50 p.m. And I am, well, I filmed the video yesterday and then today I'm doing the try on. And honestly, I guess that's why I, you know, I avoided filming all these years. And I am ready. This is what I mean when i talk about dresses being so easy look at this I steamed put on with my shoes and next thing you know well i sat down to put the shoes on and it's already wrinkled again but and i just put my hair in this thingy so you can see the back 
I love these little things because they're like so girly, so cool, so cute. All right, got a. I'm going to bathe in my perfume. I wear a bunch of different things, so that's about all the perfume I'm gonna put on for today. I want to keep it light. I love this outfit more than I thought, actually. All right, I gotta go. Catch you guys later. Tonight, the Boys and Girls Club of America. You used to go to the Boys and Girls Club when you were a kid. When you were a kid, right? They didn't just come here. Picnic set up. Reunited with this babe. <laughs> Hello. I love that dress. Where is it from? It's me. Oh, I think it's a ASOS, yeah. I'm not as fancy as y'all. Me? I know the shop off in. Me, I'm not fancy at all. She's like. I, I shop in the average section. She's lying to you guys. She's the big baller. Shot caller. That's Simi over there. <laughs> Fixing the makeup. <laughs> huh? Hello everyone, it is now 8.42, almost 9, picnic is done, sun has set in, Simi is giving me a ride home, I'm excited to get home, and I don't think I'm working tomorrow, so. that's good, oh, straight my brain, alright guys, first shoot, since quarantine with Margarita. this one, of course. <laughs> it's a vlogception. Hey! Hi, guys. Hi, hi. Wow, your camera looks so much better than mine. It's just a setting, that's all. It's the same no, no, thing. No, it's like. It's a setting. It's because yours is new. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what it is. You've had yours for a year now, remember? Yeah, mine is falling apart. Oh, no. I you literally, good. like, stitched it back together. OMG. But we're not also getting some tacos. They make some awesome, awesome shrimp tacos here. And we've also got some Marge. Can't wait to drink them. This is a new life. This is what you get now. This is a service. It's not so elegant, but you know what? It works. How's your margarita? It's strong. It's strong? It's strong. <laughs> Stronger than my knees. <laughs> the life now. Drinking water. Lunch is here. I've got three shrimp tacos. And you already know I have a margarita. I've got some water. I've got some salsa and chips over here. Can't wait to go ham. Good morning, everyone. It's been a crazy crazy week today is Sunday so it's a new week now and um, I had planned on filming today I had planned for a video to go live just like sometimes I really get upset where I am in such a good groove with being consistent and then you know things happen and then that kind of like set me back it's just the most annoying thing ever I absolutely absolutely hate it um, but you know what we're not going to dwell on that i think today i'm gonna wear a hat because i don't want to especially since i'm not wearing makeup and the sun i think is i think it's really really hot today i am wearing my favorite linen shirt from h&m and my new linen shorts from neiman marcus i'm looking for a pair of linen shorts that are um, a little bit more formal it's just a little more cash I want something with kind of like buttons and stuff like that and that's kind of a little bit more fitted but the thing about things that fits me it just makes me look a little bit too small I mean it's not like I'm trying to like hide how small tiny I am but you see like I can't see my I want something that's fitted like this but at the same time I can't see myself wearing it because I feel uncomfortable in things that are fitted. I don't like it. So that's my outfit today. I am, yeah, 
head it over to the you know partner's uh, apartment we are going to make some food I don't know what shoes I'm gonna be wearing should I wear my espadrilles I think I need something that's a little bit um, lower to wear with outfits like that so I want something that's perhaps 60 centimeter because this one is 80 um, no 80 millimeters so it's like 8 centimeter so I do want something that's maybe 6 um, or 4 so that way I can wear shorts and then of course I've been wearing my Louis Vuitton bag non-stop I think I'm just gonna wear it and until I just buy a new one because I saw Simi's her sh I love the shape of hers because again these bags like they say none of them will or will never be like the same so I do want another one because I feel like mine is a little bit the raffia is a little bit lighter but again that's what it says they are never the same um hello guys happy Monday it's a new week um not working today since kind of like, is it me or under this eye seems a little bit bigger no it's just in my head i need to go back to using my dark circle cream because i could see them creeping up but this is the best my eyes i mean skin face have looked in such a long time i can't even complain to be quite honest it's um it's amazing I filled in my eyebrows obviously until I get them microbladed which I am trying to set up an appointment to get that done really soon and I also lined my lips and added a little bit of mascara and that's all I'm doing for makeup today this is the point that I wanted to get where my skin is so clear where all I have to do is add some mascara and eyebrows and I am good to go on a daily basis in the summertime but yeah, I'm wearing this, that's what I wanted to show you, this little eyelid dress from H&M. I thought it's something that is cute on a really, really hot summer day like today. It's so hot that I can just pop this on and just be on my way. I'm wearing my Hermes slides. And I absolutely need them in the white now because these blend in with my skin so nicely. And... I wear a lot of like white dresses and stuff like yesterday when I was wearing my white shorts and shirt I thought it would be nice to have the white ones um, so we'll see if I'll be able to buy them pretty soon I think the stores should be open soon catch you guys maybe tomorrow because I'm definitely not gonna show you where I'm going and yeah and I'll just put a little hair tie in my hair. Hi guys, happy Thursday. I think it's Thursday. I'm here in the garden. I have a shoot with Danielle. And um, yeah, here's my outfit of the day. I love this dress. Hold it. Ooh! Look at this beauty. Oh, I love this. This. this is so good. How are you? How are you doing? Good. How are you? How are you? <laughs> you vlogging? Yes. Hi y'all. <laughs> this is so cute. Thank you. Well, let me tell you the drama. This is something to eat. Got for the margarita. The bar. Empty. 34th Street is never this empty. This is so crazy dizzy. This is my first time on 34th Street since then. I'm going to Macy's. First, I have a meeting. My friend is launching her brand. And I am picking up a dress from the collection. So I'm very excited about that. And um, yeah. Hey guys, today is Sunday. The mask is kind of like winning my makeup a little bit. But that's completely okay. It's better to be safe than anything else. Um, 
Debbie's gonna come over. We're gonna do some shooting. I had I went to Queens this morning to do some shooting with Danielle. Now I am back um, and stuff like that. But this is a beautiful dress from H&M. It's I am in Union Square. I just picked up some Mexican food from my favorite spot, Dorado. They have really, really good quesadillas. When I used to eat meat, their steak quesadillas was amazing. I mean, that tells you how long I've been going to this place. Uh, since when I used to eat meat back in the days. And I think it's been like five years now. Um, but I used to get the just the cheese quesadilla and just over a year ago they started making shrimp quesadilla and it was over from there and also honestly I would give anything to not be in the house so I just you know it's just so amazing now I wish I, I wish I could order like I said I was already it's not that I don't like being in the house, it's just that when you live in New York City, there's like so much to see, so much to do. There's absolutely no reason to ever be in your house unless you're actually sleeping. And when I lived upstate, for that same reason, you know, there wasn't much to do. So I used to like literally spend my entire life in my room. Um, you know, just doing my little fashion stuff. YouTube or just like you know watching TV back in the days when I used to watch TV and stuff so living here I enjoy you know life to the fullest um, I already use my hand sanitizer um, so yeah I'm always out exploring yeah it's one of the great things about living here which is why I think COVID was like really hard for a lot of people so I can use no yeah all right guys first time eating out with the food miss danielle here hello Never. hi guys cheers and the ladies were drinking this drink in paris and now we're we having saint german spritz good cheers, cheers. it's a wonderful what? summer Yo, I went and tried to drink <laughs> to my mask. <laughs> L O L. All right, guys, our food is here. This is what I got. Um, oh my God! When we went, I for for July. for July.
good morning guys it's um it's saturday it was it's been a great week by the way um i didn't vlog at all this week and stuff like that um i was in westchester for the first couple of days of the week um just you know relaxing and doing all of that and I am ready now you guys know I don't wear black but I feel like I need a few black dresses in my wardrobe not only for going out at night um, especially when it's about to be that time of the month and you don't want to take a chance because literally all my dresses are white so if I get caught <laughs> that's it <laughs> So I didn't have a lot of black options and when I saw this one from H&M I got it and OMG it's so good um look at this the fit fits what is it what am I talking about if it's perfectly it's so funny there was um this other one from this designer I think it was maybe like 600 or something like same shape and everything um Again, I don't know what's going on with H&M. They need to start adding pockets to these dresses because that is pissing me off a little bit. So I'm going to be taking my Louis V bag, of course, because it is the bag of the season. I'm about to head out, running some errands. Um, I have to drop a dress to the tailor and stuff like that, and I have to do some returns. As you can see over here, this place is a mess. I am ready. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm gonna go out and have my coffee out. I have to clean my desk. But first thing first, I have to replace the protective cover on my phone because I dropped it. Well, again, oh, I have to wear. Let me go put on my perfume. And the one that I am currently loving, it's this one by Deep Teak, Loader Day. Oh, dirty and OMG this one smells incredible I mean for its name you would think because do I mean kind of like grieving and stuff like that I had to give my mom my other perfume so my D.O. one so I'm gonna have to repurchase that one because I miss it it's like super sweet super sexy super feminine I may actually stop by and my number one is the Baccarat but this one I don't know if I'm ready to spend $300 today in some perfume and these are more kind of like four. oh and I also have to get myself flowers somebody's in trouble it's been three weeks since he sent me flowers so we need to have a talk um yeah let me replace this I usually buy these like in bulk so I always have them as backup because if you know anything about me I just hate running out of things so I typically just buy backup for everything especially dresses I actually want to buy another one of this because it's such a beautiful dress I wish they had it in white but they don't have it in white I hope they make it Get the little wipey paper. Where did I put it? It was just here. You're just watching everything move now. That's the funnest part. Yay! Perfect. There's no bubbles. Alright guys, it's Manhattan Inch, the last one of the year on 34th Street. The last one was caught on on 23rd, this one is 34. Be cool. Empire State Building. Ready? You got a goodie? I think so. Oh yeah. 
and I'm still in black today. Oh, and I found some slides, H&M, and also this little scarf that goes really well with my thing. So it's like really, really perfect. Do you want to see the slides? Morning, guys. So I don't know if you've seen the moped company Revel. They are taking over New York City and they reach out to me and um, want me to experience it but I've never written one by myself. I've written you know on the back of them obviously because I am Haitian that's what we do in Haiti. Good morning guys or should I say bonjour because I am right outside Mama. It's this French place that we used to love. As you can see breaking out because of my mask and stuff so it's not looking pretty right now. But the rest of my face is doing pretty good, so I'm happy. Today is so hot. We're just having heat, crazy heat in the city. Um, I started yesterday. I made the mistake of wearing makeup yesterday and I hated myself for it because it was so uncomfortable. So I was like, I'm not going to make that mistake today. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday the 22nd. I am working from home. Things have been so busy. I haven't vlogged in a while. Now, um, yeah, things are picking up quiet nicely. And I am super, super excited for, for what's in store for the rest of the year for me. Um, not to say that every aspect is perfect. But when it comes to work and stuff, um, things are looking really, really good. That's my little monkey coconut over there um yeah i got up get ready put some makeup on just in case i needed to shoot something so yeah i need to be more organized with my life and one thing that i find out is just like when my bedroom is because i work in my bedroom my work desk is here when my bedroom is a mess i just cannot think um so it's better for me to to make sure it's better for me to make sure that you know my space is clean and also setting myself up for success in the morning i am back on a regular schedule where i am waking up early and i am you know getting ready um that's my thing it's just like when i get up and wear makeup um, I just feel like I am actually going to work so I feel more productive um, I'm still working two days a week so that means I have the rest of the three days to to do my blog work stuff and my photography is picking up again and I'm scheduling shoot during the week and all that good stuff and also I'm going to be needing the time to focus on an ebook for photography because I get a lot of questions about what preset camera I use so I think it's time that I share some stuff with you because I think a lot of the times the photographers that bloggers work with they're not like bloggers themselves so I guess sometimes they don't understand um, the whole thing because I've just been I've been a blogger for the past 10 years so when I'm shooting other bloggers it's just like easy for me to think about what they might want in their photos what kind of shoots what kind of close-ups and stuff like that and then I take account um, the stuff to post on Instagram the height how much space you need on top bottom and things like that so I take all of that into account because I am a blogger myself um, I am thinking about finally moving my blog over to um, WordPress this thing is amazing I just had sushi for lunch I forgot to show you I just had two rolls. Spicy tuna is my favorite sushi roll. So, yep. And this place is right around the corner from my apartment. So, I could just quickly go and pick it up. Good morning, everyone. Happy. I think today's Thursday. And um, shooting with Monroe. And we are now. That's salt on my margarita. I know it's 10 o'clock or whatever it is, 11 30. But. I mean, those are the times now. We just, you know, start drinking 7 a.m. Doesn't matter. Every day is the same day these days. So, 
we're shooting and of course after shoot activity is always eating we're at Bubby's we've been trying to come to this place not specifically this location the one in the meatpacking but it's been closed but the one in Tribeca has opened so here we are and I got the pancakes because I have been craving pancakes for the longest longest time and they look so amazing I cannot cannot wait to eat them I also got a watermelon margarita I'm not the biggest fan of the food itself but I decided to try the, the margarita and it's fantastic and the boys got chicken biscuit right mm -hmm. and some hibiscus tea hey yeah they're doing some work here Fresco dining, it's like the best thing to happen to New York City, honestly. I don't ever want to go back to the old ways, especially in the summertime. I don't ever want to sit inside to eat. It's getting super noisy, so I'm gonna go eat. Ciao. Light. Hello guys, it's Saturday. Lori and I got done shooting. Hello. So we are having some brunch at Les Ambassades in Harlem and I've got the yasa which is some fish with fried rice I wanted the jello fries but it's done can't have any more gotta and, come earlier than that right gotta be quicker than that <laughs> couscous looks so yum and that sauce mm, okay, and lamb chops good to oh, take off your Hey guys happy monday i am working from home i just quickly went out to pick up this dress that i ordered from assembly it's right there at the ludlow street um next to the ludlow hotel and i live in the east village so it's just like so easy to just run down um on a quick break to go pick it up um and it's the same stad elio dress that i have in like a million different colors already I think this is my fifth one from this dress um, when I was thinking I have a lot of day dresses but I don't have a lot of night dresses in um, like for date night and stuff like that so I thought this one would be perfect in the black for date and um, I do have a date later so that's the one that I'm going to be wearing it's um again this is a size four it's so pretty it just hugs you in the right places um i can wear my my waist trainer with it but i'm gonna go on a date so and i want the space to eat which is why i love dresses like this that protects me this is that's the reason why i don't love bodycon stuff because bodycon as soon as i eat like you could see the food baby and with stuff like that it's just so easy to conceal which is why I always go for dresses like that so if you are someone who have um, like if your midsection is your problem area like for me I'm usually almost always bloated anyways so um, if you have that problem as well I would say go for dresses like this that add a little bit of volume on that area so it kind of like hides your midsection so guys we made to the beach we parked somewhere further and then now we found a good parking so I am in the spot waiting for Monroe to get here um, so we can park the car here so we'll be closer 
and stuff like that um yeah all right guys made it to the beach this cute little flimsy brelly is is perfect for what it is i should have gotten two though i just realized um the shade is not big enough for two people and it was so cheap too um okay i should just got into but the beach is pretty empty obviously because today is a tuesday and it is open to residents on tuesdays and stuff but it's a beautiful blue sky the sin could be better the sin where i was on little beach was a lot nicer but this is great and Manuel went to get our ice thing. She's carrying her ass ice thing. She's been working hard today. But I'm just having some ice cream because I saw Sedito. They do have a place on the Upper East Side, so I thought it was the same spot, but it wasn't. It is what it is. Alright, guys. Shooting in sesh. change we're about to shoot some more and it's about to be 11 we're doing really good on time yeah hi guys so i shot with manuel and danielle this morning down there by south street seaport and now i am back at one of my favorite great places it's right by my house which is the reason why i don't ever want to move out of this neighborhood it's like i've just been finding a lot of amazing places i just love it down here i i love it i honestly i don't want to move unless i buy a place or something good morning guys oh my god this hair is so frizzy i have to wash it i have so much product in there so today is a wash day plus I installed it because I was gonna go on the boat Thursday so I and see so today I had a new client how to shoot it was so fast I always love when I work with new people and then we ended up hitting it off cappuccino and let me show you this avocado toast this is the avocado toast how beautiful you gotta love the Aussies when it comes to their avocado toast um, honestly yes they make the best avocado toast in my opinion hi guys I was working today and I had to run home because I had this zoom event with Loa Mercier I wanted to show you this is how companies do event these days they just send you the stuff as you can see here we're doing a flower arrangement which is so cool they send me all this stuff it's pretty cool actually and the products and the powder notebook to write my goals for 2020 um so yeah i love it and she's just doing a demonstration uh you know green you know, we, we, we've seen that look where powders can actually make your skin look more yellow and more sallow so no matter what your undertone is, it's going to brighten and enliven your complexion and lock the makeup in all day. And I'm just, literally, I'm just... Hello, guys. Happy... I should say, hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, yeah, this week has been a challenging, challenging we just been dealing with a lot of family stuff uh family emergency family stuff not covert related at all non covert related upstate yes it's not really upstate it's like an hour from here but i just call it upstate because it's not the city so i had to drive up upstate yesterday to return my brother car because i had come down with it the day prior because of COVID, the buses are not running on the schedule like they used to. So after a certain time, you can't really find a bus. So, so I had to, uh, you know, I had to take down my brother's car. And then yesterday I drove it up to return to him. And then I came down this morning. This morning I took the bus. There's only like six buses running for like the entire day. 